It's time for a New Year's resolution. Yes, I know it's February, but to be honest, it's never too late to learn something new. Now, the title is a bit misleading. I'm not completely new to programming, but I'm not very good at it either, which is why my GitHub is drier than the Sahara Desert. The reason why I suck at programming is because I haven't put much time into it. I did have a programming unit at college, but the tutor wasn't very good and so we didn't learn much. So what programs have I written so far? Well first there's TARDIS. I made a video about TARDIS, but in essence it's a basic post-installation shell script for Arch Linux. It's similar to LARBS or DTOS, but not quite as polished. Next is TAS Search. This isn't really a program, it's just a HTML browser homepage using my custom Circ instance. Third is Sillyware. I made a video about this program as well, and it's basically just a fake malware made from Visual Basic scripts. Fourth is Coronaware. It's called Coronaware because I wrote it at the beginning of the pandemic. This actually had two versions. One was just a joke, but the other would mess up your system. Just like Sillyware, it's a series of batch and VBS scripts. Fifth is a HTML soundboard. I don't really know JavaScript, so without some googling, I wouldn't know how to remake this program. Sixth is my website. Again, not really a program, but I update it fairly often. I've made other things which are technically programs, but I haven't included them because I didn't code or write anything from scratch. I basically just used tools to modify existing programs. I also didn't include the stuff I made at school or college because although the programs were crap, there's a bit of interesting lore behind those projects which could be worth a video. The reason why I want to get better at programming isn't for career reasons. I'm not trying to get a six figure job at Google. I just like making cool things and it would be cool to share my work with other people. The reason why most of my projects aren't publicly available is because a lot of them have either been lost to time or don't work very reliably and I don't want to be the person who just says, oh, it works on my system. I'm probably going to start off by improving the stuff I've already made, and then tackling new things that are a bit more challenging, like learning new programming languages, or writing code for certain platforms. That's it for today's video, and until next time, cheerio.